Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today Apple has released iOS 13.4.1. Now last week they released iOS 13.4.5, but that was a beta version. Until that gets released to the public, we have this new update. 13.4.1 which of course addresses some issues that were found on iOS 13.4 and of course fixes them. So in this video we're going to take a look at what's new on iOS 13.4.1 and what issues this software update has fixed. Now of course with this being a smaller update it will come at a smaller size as well. It should come at your device at around 90 to 100 megabytes of course based on the device which you're running this on. And of course it will fix a few known issues on the iPhone and the iPad as well with iPadOS 13.4.1. Now on the iPhone it will fix an issue where devices running iOS 13.4 could not participate on a FaceTime call with devices running iOS 9.3.6 and earlier or OS 10 El Capitan. So on older devices, if you had like older devices in iPhone 5, for example, someone could not participate on a FaceTime call if they had iOS 13.4 installed on their device. And that fortunately has been fixed with iOS 13.4.1. That of course is a very very important feature especially nowadays and it will also address another bug with the settings app so on the 3D touch menu of the settings app if you 3D touch on it and you press the Bluetooth option it will it would just fail so that has been fixed as well. Of course there should be other fixes in the background that Apple didn't tell us about but these are the two most important ones that have been fixed with iOS 13.4.1. Moving on to iPadOS 13.4.1, it will fix an issue where the flashlight might not turn on from the control center or the lock screen. So that was an issue on the fourth generation iPad Pro 12.9 inch and the second generation iPad Pro 11 inch, only on those two devices. You didn't have the flashlight turning on from the control center or the lock screen, then this update will fix that for you. There are of course other fixes, the same as iOS 13.4.1. The issue with the FaceTime call, as well as the issue with the settings app, where the Bluetooth wouldn't run like from the 3D touch menu. And that's basically it. Of course, there are always minor changes in the background, but these are the main issues with iOS 13.4.1 and iPadOS 13.4.1. So that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is what's new on iOS 13.4.1. Go ahead and update if you had any of those issues. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. I will see you guys on the next one.